Shalom, brothers and sisters. So, so this is this is an interesting one, considering where we're sitting and how close we are to the tribulation. The belief in God, angels, heaven, hell, and Satan have reached a record low. The shares of Americans who believe in God, angels, heaven, hell, and the devil have tumbled to the lowest levels ever recorded over the last two decades. And belief in God and heaven made the steepest dips, according to a new survey they launched. The survey data shows 74% of respondents said they believe in God, 69% they believe in angels, 67% believe in heaven, and 58% believe in the devil. Individuals who attend church most often and Republicans were most likely to believe in each of the five groups. Protestants were also more likely than Catholics to express belief. How interesting is that? Most individuals who seldom or never attend church also believe in God and angels, but less than half believe in heaven, hell, and the devil. Now, don't you think it's interesting that we are so close to the literal devil walking around on earth and the Antichrist and the false prophet and everything in their faces and signs and wonders and the return of the Nephilim and the alien deception and everything in their faces and the horrific supernatural things that are waiting for everybody. And now, now the belief is dipping. Now they don't believe. Why? Because people like uh, old Mr. Harari and his friend Klaus Schwab and all these people are teaching everyone that it's all fairy tales and we will become gods. We will create and so will our AI. So why should we believe in anything bigger than us? Because we are everything. It's about I, I, I. Makes you think of the five eyes of Lucifer before he fell. They're emulating the person that they're not believing in or believing in the least. That whole statistic, I hope they do a survey three and a half years into the tribulation. Those numbers are going to be drastically different. Not that it's going to help anybody. But yeah, interesting and sad. All at the same time. Thank the Lord and his mercy and his grace that we have been enlightened to him and we can draw into his presence and shelter under his wings. Our time with him is near and we leave soon. Stay faithful, stay strong, shine your light, pray for each other and don't let any of the darkness get you down. It's more of an opportunity to shine your light. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.